There's got to be something to say in this beginning bit. That's not a joke or boring. Hey guys, it's Advanced Map Freak and I'm here doing another tutorial and this time I'm doing how to do Pokeball script. So let's get straight into it. Uh, I know this is a scripting tutorial but I think the best thing first to do is to create the sprite that you're going to the Pokeball basically. So start off by adding an extra person event and placing the Pokeball wherever you want. Uh, I know it doesn't look like a Pokeball yet, that's because you changed the picture number to 92, which is the Pokeball sprite. Now we can move on to the scripting. So we start the script how we would any other script, and we use lock to ensure that anything else that is happening while interacting with the Pokeball stops happening. Then we move on to remove sprite, and we type in the person event number. Not the number, person event number. So in this case, it would be four. Oh, get to that later. This, in this case, it would be four. Now we actually give the item to the player. And after the movement, there are also codes that suggest which item to give. So that's, this is what I opened before. And this is the notepad full of pretty much every single item. And if you don't have this notepad, you can download it off my website, advancedfreak.webs.com. And, uh, well, let's just say we want to give the player some Moo Moo Milk, which is 1D. So we add that in, 1D. And we can add another number, which shows how many of the items we want to give. So let's just say we give 34. I know it's unrealistic, but let's just see what happens. Now, we do a function called set flag, and this stops the Pokeball from reappearing after taking a few steps or, you know, after going out the map and re-entering and stuff like that. So it's best to start at OX 1200 or 1200, because the other flag numbers are taken by other parts of the game. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to do 1250. Yep, now that we've set this, it could be different for all of yours. You have to use a you have to use a different flag for every Pokeball and for every time you ever set a flag you have to use a different number. So keeping that in mind, now that we've set the flag, the flag needs to know, you know, who it's been set to. Because like how we identified that remove sprite sprite event number four, the flag doesn't know who who to lock on to. So this is why we change the person ID to the same number as the flag, which was 1,250. Now we end the script, release and end, and let's save this and compile it and see what happens. I'll just save it to my desktop as pokeball.rbc, that's the standard Rubicon script, so it allows us to compile it. Now that we've done that, we can uh, save the ROM, but we're not done with the ROM yet. We can compile this script. Yep, now we select the ROM. And I think since the offset has come out at 8,000 or 8, 80,000, I think that's proof that this is the first script I'm putting into the game. I'm not mentioning anybody's names, but just trying to say that this is not a script from anywhere else in the game. So if you're using, by the way, that reminds me, if you're using Advanced Map 1.92, which I think is the latest, then on the script offset place, there's two extra zeros at the beginning. I'm not sure why they're there, but they're there. So make sure you paste your offset after those two zeros, unless your offset is longer, which I've never seen before in my life. So make sure you save it. And now I'm going to open it and hope for the best. Okay, here we go. Let's just uh, try speeding this up a bit. Okay, finally finished that oak speech. 
I'll just create a save here, just in case. You can never be too careful. Now, you should walk outside and find the plug pole there. Well, it's a good, it's a good start. Okay, it's quite smooth. The Pokeball disappears. It says you obtained it. And then it says you put it in your item's pocket. We can check in our bag that we have 34 Moo Moo Milks. We go back. We take some steps. And because of the set flag function before, the Pokeball does not return. We can leave the map, re-enter the map, and oh, what do you know? There's no Pokeball there. So... Yeah, that is uh, how to create Pokeball scripts with however many items and whichever item you want in it. I hope this has been helpful for you guys. And uh, if, you, if there's any issues or any problems, feel free to add it in the comments section below and I will try to answer them. For any other issues with scripts and stuff, feel free to either go to the website, uh, advancedfreak.webs.com and... Uh, there's there's the whole the whole forums page there. I check it as as often as I upload videos, and well, a bit more often than I upload videos. And I check that. And if you guys have any problems with scripts, feel free to put it there. There's loads of stuff there. Feel free to use the forums. You know, my website is your website. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks for listening. This has been the Black Map Freak, and I'll be back with another tutorial. I guess I'll make this end part of the video my audio log my uh, og if you will um yeah i guess uh, i should tell you now that um uh read the com read the description bit below because it's got some important information in it and go to my website you know i'm always checking that out uh, i think it's better to post things on my website than sending me personal youtube messages and leaving things in the comments but apart from that, uh, your support has been great, you know, especially a few of you. Don't want to mention any names, don't want to put off any other people. But uh, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and uh, you guys are what make these videos happen.